Hi, this is Gail Sibley, and I am at the IAPS convention, and I'm with Erin Schur. Erin, why don't you tell us why you think it's so important to paint on location? Why is it so important to paint on location? Um, because I think it's deeply important to suffer. No. Um, <laughs> actually, suffering is a little part of it. Um, no, I think um, the more that I grow and develop as an artist, the more I invest in the experience. Um, and the way that I, I guess the way that I look at art is that um, I go out there and I have an experience. Um, it's, it's the, you know, and a painting is the story of my experience in a place. So I have my experience, my story, and hopefully if it works out, I frame it up, and then someone else brings their story to it, and their story's entirely different. And, and it's in that exchange, even though I'm not there, that art happens. If I work from a photograph, it's, it's one step removed from the direct experience. I think photograph can be a useful tool at times, you know, I'm doing studio pieces, but the whole thing of standing there in a fixed place and watching the pageantry of light and weather move past is, is really unique to our experience. Um, you know, this, there's not anything else I can think of where we fix ourselves in one spot and let the world move around us um, and, and let that experience of that happen. Um, and so I just, I think that sometimes it can be really challenging, it can feel harder to not be in the studio, to not have the control of the studio. But I think sometimes the art happens because there's a lack of control, because you're just, you have this, the, the real stimulus, and as an artist, you're responding to that stimulus in real time. And um, there's something sometimes a little chaotic, a little crazy, but something very invigorating about that experience. On a more um, nuts and bolts level, um, you know, when you're out on location, um, the human eye is far more sophisticated than the camera. Um, and the human eye linked up with, you know, our wonderful brains um, is, is a very different tool. Um, and so, you know, we see, we see things in shadows and see things in light that aren't going to get recorded in a camera. And also we make decisions in, in real space that um, you know, where a camera already creates it for you. Um, so there's many other reasons, but it's how I would sum it up. Wonderful, thank you, Aaron.